2K are going crazy for 4th of July with a new fireworks promo, USA Invincible cards, and Luka GOAT series. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. Yo, what's going on guys? Witness2K back and we have another pack opening here. Big Shock, Fireworks promo. 2K went crazy crazy with this drop for the 4th of July. So we're gonna go crazy in this pack opening and hopefully get one of real, one of these really awesome pulls. So make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. Let's just make sure everyone's subbed. Let's just, it's 4th of July. It's a good time of year, you know, happy days. Everyone subscribe to the channel. We're grinding for 150,000 subscribers and your one, your one subscription, your one free subscription right now does wonders. So I absolutely need you to subscribe right now. Drop a like on the video as well. And here are the cards, man. We've got 100 overall Luca. Now, 4th of July, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with dropping Luca, but I would drop like a, you know, you're all American type player, you know? I don't know who that would be, but I know, <laughs> I just know Luca's not American, that's for sure. But I mean, it looks like a pretty sweet card regardless. And speaking of American, we do have USA players, even though Joel's here. I'm pretty sure he's not American. But anyway, we got Devon Booker. That card looks pretty sick. Joel, I don't think that card looks good at all. Uh, LeBron, point guard, invincible LeBron James. That's pretty crazy. Ste Steph Curry cards are always just so fun to use. I, they, I've never used a Steph Curry that just isn't a fun card. Wilt looks pretty cracked as he normally is in 2K. Melo, Melo's Melo. Now, I don't know how these other Lucas are looking, honestly. Paolo could be solid. Jar could be fun. He won't be very good, but I think he could be fun. Uh, Austin, same with Austin Reeves, actually. Sean Bradley. Now, 2K didn't do this card any favors when it comes to three-point shooting. They should have made it better. It turned like a 70 five but still it is what it is and then we got all these other lucas as well which i don't think will be that good i feel like when it comes to luca it's 100 overall or bust and the odds for fourth of july are nothing special so let's go into a 20 box right now and try our luck hopefully hopefully we get a hit you know i'm really looking for a minimum of a 100 overall but i, I would love to see an invincible but then again if i had to pull an invincible i'd want devon booker i think then again i don't i mean yeah actually I would use Devin Booker over Penny, I think. I have Dark Matter Penny at my point guard. I think Invincible Booker does replace that, but I don't need LeBron. I have Goat Bronze, so we don't need Invincible LeBron James, but Luka would be pretty cool for sure. Goat Luka, at least a test out. I mean, he would definitely make the squad. Like, you can, if you ever pull a Goat card, you cannot sell that. Ooh, there we go. Okay, there we go. It's shaking. Pack number five. It's the day after. It's, it's the fifth after 4th of July. I'm gonna flip all on this one. What do you got for me, 2K? It's a dark matter. Uh, Sean Bradley. Give me Sean Bradley. That's who I would like to try the most. Sean Bradley? Whoa. Let's go. I'll take it. No, wait. Yes. I was gonna say, wait, that could be like center Luca or something, but no. It is Sean Bradley. I think that's, I mean, 2K made Endgame Sean Bradley, the last 2K, absolutely cracked. So this could be a decent card, especially with a good coach and a diamond three point and probably speed shoe could be a really good center. Definitely worth testing out. Not a bad start, actually. Not actually too bad of a start. Pack number six is, no. Oh, geez, we go from one spectrum to the other. There we go, dark matter all the way to gold. Pack number seven is not looking too good. We do also have a mystery pack event starting now uh, because this is actually the Friday's content drop. But 2K are like having a long weekend or something like that. So, you know, they dropped it early and every game you win, you get, I think excluding challenges, but every game you win in triple threat, clutch time, unlimited, salary cap, whatever you're playing, you will get a mystery pack. Now, 2K did state that you can pull GOAT cards from those packs. Now, don't think they're gonna be freaking common because they will be so unbelievably rare, but it is possible. So I think it's kind of cool because like, it's just a pack. So why not if you're playing the game anyway? So it could be cool. It could definitely be cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up some mystery packs, gonna grind for a lot of them. Maybe make like a mystery pack pack opening video show you what i pull maybe i can get a goat pull we'll see though we're shaking here but it's gonna be a diamond series too if it's not a slow shake it's nothing good that's for sure it's just gonna go to the exchange but then again i'm always messing with the exchange getting free packs and everything like that i'm always cashing in these cards for sure it's definitely worth it especially now because deluxe packs in the exchange 
uh, minimum dark matters, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and there's like challenges as well. There's a there's an agendas challenge right now for a free deluxe fireworks pack, which is a minimum dark matter. So pretty good to grind for that. Another shake, another diamond. These two diamonds I can exchange for a series two pink diamond. So could be good. You never know what I could get. That pink diamond can go to the exchange. Could get me something good. I would like to definitely test out Goat Luca. I'm sure I'm I'm sure I'm about to pull him for sure, but just in case, I'm definitely gonna try and find an account to try and get gameplay of, cause I mean, it's Luca. Luca cards, it's, we've had better Lucas for sure. He's not the greatest Luca of all time by any means that we've had in my team, but he's not gonna be bad. I've got a feeling he's gonna be pretty freaking good still. And this is the final pack of the 10 box and it does not slow shake, but I do have a pink diamond Giannis. So what can I exchange that for right now? That gives us a pack right there that I'll put in the collections for now. 2K dropped and then another elite pack again. It's just updated with Goat Luca and it has the new invincible cards in there as well. And 100 overall Luca will be in there as well somewhere. It doesn't really feel worth opening like 2k putting it it's it's available for two days i don't know if it's worth opening or not comment down below if a bunch of people are telling me to open it i definitely will but the fact that i pulled goat lebron last time it's like chances of the next one being a goat are so slim and i keep i really if they were minimum if they were minimum 100 overalls then i would be more inclined to open it these are the new prizes available in the game modes as well 100 overall magic johnson Pretty decent. If you can manage to pull that off, that's pretty cool. Let's try a couple of single firework packs now though. I mean, the Bradley card that we pulled, pretty decent pretty decent for sure but i am still it doesn't it doesn't necessarily scratch the itch that i got i'm definitely in a 100 overall minimum type of mood when it comes to packs if it's not if it's not at least a 100 dark matters don't seem that great but then again bradley big boy big 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 boy so that's that that means something that means something in my team so maybe he will be good especially like i said with a diamond shoe and his packs don't seem to want to pay pay out anything else anymore so sean bradley he can play the power forward as well a seven six like that's like four of me just kidding i'm not that sure but still that's insanely tall now he's got a 75 in the three ball you can get that around the 80s, low 80s with a coach. He's good in the post, dunking's fine. So ball handling is not very good and his speeds are under the 80 as well. So definitely in desperate need of a shoe. 40 Hall of Fame badges. This is my squad right here, my 10 man lineup that I'm currently using my team unlimited with, playing my team unlimited with. Now, do I replace Ralph Sampson? Ralph Sampson's a better shooter than him. He's a decent amount quicker, but I mean, it's nothing crazy, but what what are the, the heights are? Uh, Ralph Sampson is 7'4", so Sean Bradley is that little bit taller, so maybe he makes the team. But that's gonna wrap up today's pack opening video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I got plenty more content coming your way so make sure you are subscribed to the channel leave a like on the video and i'll catch you guys in the next upload it's been witnessed